Hey what is up this is James and welcome to another lesson of Adobe Premiere Pro free class. Today I'm going to show you how you can have a simplified workspace in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro for the very first time then maybe you are getting confused while you are looking at the Adobe Premiere Pro panel. So today I'm going to show you how you can have a very simplified panel so that you can work properly. Before starting today's lesson let's recap what we have learned till today. So first we have learned how you can make a new project then we have learned how you can import project in Adobe Premiere Pro then we have learned how you can make a sequence what is sequences and how you can make a sequence preset and now today I'm going to show you how you can have a simplified workspace so this is Premiere Pro if you look at Adobe Premiere Pro then maybe you are confused about the panels why those panels are here especially if you are a beginner right so how you can have a very simplified look if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro 22.5 version then if you go to here which is the workspace area then you will get to new workspace one is essential and the other one is vertical i will highly suggest you to select the essential panel if you are a beginner just select it then you'll have a look just like this one you'll get the project panel here then you'll get the effects panel after that and in the right side you'll have effects control panel then lumetri color essential graphics essential sound panel and in the middle section you'll have the program preview panel if i just drag a cliff here in my timeline then you'll see the program preview panel is here and here you'll have a long timeline so that you can work properly on your timeline especially if you're using a single monitor or if you're using your laptop to edit the video so that is the thing but what if if you're not using adobe premiere pro 2022.5 version then what can you do then you can go to here then select the editing panel or you can just go to window then go to workspace then select editing panel and from there i'm going to show you how you can customize this layout so first we don't need all of this panel let's close some of the panel uh, suppose i don't use media browser a lot so i'm clicking here and then i'm clicking close panel then it will close the media panel then libraries i don't use that again i'm closing that then info closing that effects yes i use that so i'm just skipping that then markers i don't use markers a lot but when i need then i just enable it from the window panel so I'm just closing that and also I'm closing history panel. So there, there is our two panel that we are going to use very frequently. One is our program panel. I'm just clicking and dragging this project panel here. And when you see a blue line, just like that in the top section, then just release it here. Then the project panel will appear in this section. Again, I want to change the position of effects panel. I'm just clicking and dragging this effect panel. And when I'm seeing a line just like that, I'm just releasing it. So here is my project panel. This is my effects panel. And after that, this is the source monitor. I'm just selecting the effects panel, clicking and dragging it over to the left. So here is the fix control panel. Then source monitor. I'm just closing this one, which is audio clip mixer. Close that. Metadata. We don't need that. Close that. So this is our simplified view. Now we can just increase the size of our preview monitor if we want. Suppose you are working with color grading, then what you will do? If you are working with text a lot, then you will need essential graphics panel. So let's recall those panel. I'm going to window and from here you can click Lumetri color. Click that. Then this panel will appear here. Again, if the position of Lumetri color panel is not just like me, then you can just click and drag it here to pin it here. Now let's enable essential graphics panel. So I'm just clicking here. It will come here again i'm going to window and then i'm enabling essential sound panel this is the essential sound panel so this is my simplified view i like to keep the lumetri color essential sound and essential graphics panel longer so that i can work here perfectly but if you want to have the timeline in a longer screen then you can just click and drag lumetri color panel here then you can pin it here again you can take it here just like that if you want you can keep it as it is but i like the longer preview that is the reason i am just pinning those panels in the side section you can do it just like me if you want it's it's all about your preference what you like so this is my workspace again when i am doing color grading i like to use lumetri scope a lot so i'm just going to window and then i'll enable lumetri scope it will come here so that is my final workspace preview suppose you have closed adobe premiere pro and again you are opening adobe premiere pro to start working but 
when you are going to start your working then you can see the workspace is not looking just like that it is gone to default mode then what can you do for that kind of reason you need to save the workspace so that you can recall it whenever you want to save the workspace you need to go to window and then from the workspace you have to go to save as a new workspace click here then you can name it i'm just naming it you cube then you can click ok that workspace has been saved so if i go to editing workspace and now i want to get back to my workspace what can i do i can go to here and then i can select youtube or i can just go to window then i can select youtube from here so that's it that is how you can make your custom workspace in adobe Premiere pro that is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video or learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe Premiere pro and video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye